Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're show you how to disable the built-in password manager in Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. You can follow this tutorial looking for the eye up here or the video description if you need anything I show you in this video starting with the best password managers. If you're going to disable your password manager your browser, you're going to need a replacement. And these are our favorite six password managers for 2021. We do even mention using your web browser, but it's very important to know. Storing your passwords in your web browser is not the best idea. So if you're not using it, make sure it's disabled. If you are using it, consider replacing it and disabling it. And here we are. So let's start with Google Chrome. We're going to click the three dots here, or you can actually type this into a new tab. Three dots, settings. There's your passwords right here. And you'll notice it says offer to save passwords. That might ring a bell with you. For example, the first time or somewhere along the lines, a window probably popped up somewhere way back when maybe. And it said, hey, you want us to save his password? And you're like, yeah, great. So once you did that, you gave it the free for all, probably, to save all your passwords. So I would get rid of both of these. That's your offer to save passwords. And that should do it. But just to be sure, let's disable auto sign in especially if you've already saved them and typically I don't have anything saved here it's a virtual machine but if you have any saved passwords you may want to clear them out or in this case go to your Google account and clear everything out once you have everything in a different password manager that's it for Google Chrome just close the X right here you're done let's go over to Firefox these are all pretty similar by the way they're not that hard to find so once again you can type this in to a new tab or we'll click here what they call the hamburger icon, the three dots. Click on settings right here. And we're going to go to privacy and security. And we're going to scroll on down to logins and passwords. And as you can see, it's, while different, not that hard to find once you know where it is. Basically, again, once you uncheck this, hopefully these all get unchecked, unlike Google Chrome. They did not. Well, they're blurred out so it worked so you might want to uncheck them that is up to you before you uncheck it and there you have it so Firefox does let you use a primary password which is kind of neat I don't know if it makes it any more secure I'm still not a big big fan somewhere in here I don't know right here save login so again I don't have any here but once again you probably want to clear out your saved logins get it all cleaned up and that's it pretty easy there's Firefox and last but not least, Microsoft Edge. Again, this is a Chromium-based browser, so it's going to be very much like Google Chrome. All right, so we're just going to jump over here to Settings. And once again, you can do Edge Settings Passwords, just like that. You can put that into a new tab if you want. Otherwise, we're going to click Settings, and we're going to go to Profiles. There's Settings right here. There's your profile. You're already at it. Passwords. Sign in automatically. Offer to save. So we can leave this alone. This works, as you can see, a little bit different. So just uncheck it. And there's your offer to save passwords. Scroll down here. Pretty easy to find. Shows you how many saved passwords. I tell you, this Microsoft Edge is pretty good. I know a, lot, a handful of you think I'm a show for Microsoft because I don't know if you've checked... Uh, how much money they're making right now their stock market I promise you they're not sending me twenty dollars for mentioning Microsoft Edge they don't care it's pretty good I may switch to it one of these days uh, if anybody's listening from Microsoft um, that's thirty dollars for this one all right and you save passwords get rid of them I'm not 100% sure you need to but not much point disabling your passwords as I mentioned on the other browsers and then leaving all your passwords sitting online once you're done as you did with the other ones, close the tab. And there you have it. That's how to disable the built-in passwords manager in Google Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. And once again, if you're looking to move on, take a look at KeyPass first. It even has spun off two forks, KeyPass X, KeyPass XC. And there's even add-ons people built to work along with it. So that's probably one of the first places I would go. LastPass, Dashlane. Safe in Cloud and Bitwarden, which 
I have to admit, somebody uh, in our comments reminded me about Bitward, and I forgot about it and had to add it in later. So, once again, it's free. As you can see, you can upgrade with an authenticator, file storage, two-step login. So it can be pretty secure. And it's a little friendlier than the other ones to use, too, in my humble opinion. So that is up to you. But I would consider one of those six and make sure you got everything moved into there so you don't lose all your passwords. And if it's portable, it's great because you can just drag it, drop it, put it on your thumb drive, store it off to the side, and you always have your passwords. You, you know what I mean? So the browser makes it convenient, though, too. You log into your account on your browser, and everything's safe. It's nice, but consider getting away from it for me. And there you have it, how to disable the built-in password managers in Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. As always, my friends, in the bottom right corner is the subscribe button. Click a like if we helped you out, and feel free to leave a comment. We always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. As always, see ya.